Here's a recipe that is bound to please everyone in the family. I call it Nona's Meatballs Sub. The first step is to do the meatballs. What I've done, I placed some breadcrumbs in a bowl and I added one cup of 15 or 18% cream and I let it seep for about five minutes until they're nicely soaked. Now, I need one pound of ground meat. I have some pork and some beef. I'm going to add them to the breadcrumbs. And now for more flavor, some garlic that I've chopped. One small onion, chopped as well. One egg. Now you can beat it ahead of time or you can just leave it like that and with the spatula I'll break it in the meat. And now for color, and for flavor, obviously, some parsley that I've chopped finely. And some Canadian Parmesan, obviously for the flavor, but also for the saltiness. So I need about a third of a cup. And now I'm going to add some salt and some fresh ground pepper. And all I need to do is take the time and stir all the ingredients together so they're well combined. Now the best tool to make meatballs are your hands. So I need to make large meatballs. Two generous tablespoons. Now with this recipe you'll get 12 meatballs. Now that the 12 meatballs are ready, I'm going to set them aside and we can start the sauce. Now for the sauce, I need to melt some butter in a saucepan with some garlic. I'm going to saute the garlic for about one minute and I'm coating the garlic with the butter so it doesn't burn. The garlic is nicely sauteed. I'm going to add some canned tomatoes straight to the pan with some Italian seasoning. And with a potato masher, I'm simply going to crush the tomatoes. It's important to crush the tomatoes to get a nice texture and to get the liquid or the water to evaporate well so you have a nice thick sauce. Now I'm going to cook the tomatoes covered for about five minutes at very low heat. The sauce has simmered for five minutes. Now I can place the meatballs in the sauce. I'm going to cover and cook the meatballs for five minutes. After five minutes, I'll uncover and continue cooking for about six to eight minutes until they're fully cooked. I think the meatballs are ready. They smell delicious. I'm going to remove them from the sauce. I'm going to put the meatballs aside and still let the sauce reduce. It's important to take the time to make the sauce very thick so it coats well the meatballs in the sandwich. Now in the meantime, I'll take one submarine bread and cut it in half. Perfect, and I'll also need some Canadian provolone cheese to garnish the sandwich. That should be enough. Now the sauce here, I think it looks perfect. All the liquid is nicely evaporated. Now I'm going to make it richer with some cream, 15 or 18% cream. I'm going to bring all this to a boil. Now when the sauce comes to a boil, I'm going to remove it from the heat and put the meatballs back in just to warm them up. And also 
it'll coat them nicely with the sauce. Now I'm ready to assemble the sandwich. Now the meatballs go on the bottom piece of bread. Now three per portion is a good size. I'm going to add just a little bit of tomato sauce. And now for the toppings, I have some sauteed mushrooms, some hot peppers, and of course, the Canadian provolone. Now this is a serious sandwich that I'm sure will become one of your family's favorite.